Should make a little video about our trip to TJD's. TJD's. Model shop. Model shop. Model shop. We're going in this old jalopy. It's not a very good part. Interesting part. The Jerry's is your car. Nothing wrong with my car. Your car? I thought finance company owned it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't own a car. For fuck's sake. <laughs> That's why I put the camera on. <laughs> Fucking turning my You've got to put the heated on. seat on from time to time. <laughs> anyway, we're off to TJD's now. Well, some my arse started burning. <laughs> See you in a moment. Right, right, tubers. We've just pulled up here at Sutton on Hone, I think the thing said. I always call it Essex Dartford Way because it's a stone throw, really, isn't it? So, we're almost outside TJD's. I'm not sure, Mark's not been here yet. I mean, he's a big RC fan. There it is, there. Where can I park? Where can I park? Outside is the, yeah, you can block Chris in or turn around and park there. Now, it's always an expensive visit whenever you come to an RC shop, and today's going to be no exception, so I fear. Who knows what we'll walk out with, eh, Mark? Who knows? It's going to be fun finding out. There you go. There you go, some tubers. TJD models? A beautiful yeah. place. Off your trot, mate. Experience modelling. Experience modelling, yeah. Yeah, look, 20p, Mark. Look, 20p. Ooh, 30p. Oh, I was hoping you'd pick it up. Uh, Right then guys, me and Mark, he's behind the camera at the moment, say hello. Hi. We're now back from TJG, as you can see in the photo, Mark purchased a Gen 7. We're going to show you that in a moment. Um, also, I got some very much needed bits for this. Uh, the ESC had popped its guts. Um, Chris from TJD, as you saw on the photo, on the phone and the tills. Um, he's took it apart and decided the ESC, like I thought, was at fault. He's sending it off with the motor that I knackered up. I'm hopefully going to get that under warranty. But in the meantime, I've got some much needed spares. Not only for that, I've also bought some stuff for this. Let's just talk you through what we did get. For the Axial SCX10, I got a crawler brush, an electronic speed controller. I believe it's a Hobbywing 1080. 1080 80 amp brush crawler ESC. Now, I will get the replacement one, and I'll probably just shove that on eBay. I didn't want that. It's very limited. It's always breaking. I want something more like the Traxxas um, ESC. I think it's a VLX3 HD or some nonsense like that. But Chris assures me this is the product for me. So I'm going to do a little unboxing video on that at some point and installing it and seeing the fundamental differences. I'd normally chuck something at this point, but it's not gash. So I'm told. Right. Now, I couldn't go and not buy some stuff for my Bronco. I've had this on order for a little while now. Unfortunately, due to holidays and whatnot, I wasn't able to get up there till today. I've got some different shock oil, uh, 150, because I feel this is too, too rigid. I want it just to be a little bit softer. Not too soft that it starts rolling off things, but just soft enough that it does flex that little bit more. And so wheels are still on the ground, you know, the, hopefully that might solve that. If not, I don't know, we're back to the drawing board on ideas for that, but I think that might be the kitty for the job. That should be on display, really, shouldn't it, tubers? Anyway, um, <coughs> I've got... You'll have to help us out here, Mark. Is that on in shot? Yeah, it's in shot. Brilliant. Well, that, I think, is about 14 quid. It is the gaseous little bit of plastic you ever could find. It's so flimsy and flexy, but that's my front nudge bar for my Bronco. I like the look of that, so I had to have it. Now this, I've seen in a few videos, and I've seen in a few different places, a spare wheel holder for the Bronco. I think that just finish off this body just nicely. I'm not gonna get out of the packet for this video, but that'll look quite nice on the back of there. 
nudge bar up front there. I'm going to get some little fake number plates. I've got some other accessories to go on this, so we'll do another video on that, making that and tighten it up a little bit. Of course, if you follow the channel, you'll understand there's a few RCs powered down at the moment. So, without boring you too much, I got all the bits needed, what I had on order for the last fortnight and more, ready to get some of the other RC toys back up and running how they should. Anyway, if you want to see the unboxing of uh, this video, or the unboxing of this, I will put a link in the description below. Some other things are happening with the channel, or channels. I won't say too much at the moment. This unboxing will be on my channel. Maybe not a full unboxing video, but there's gonna be a little bit about that coming up soon. So I'll try and put that there. But don't forget to subscribe here, and I'll see you next time. Teabag! Just, we've got a problem. You haven't been recording? It wasn't recording. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch! Turn that off! Hot! <laughs>